What is going on guys? Jim here a video today. I'm going to be talking about the three games I got from Target.com's buy two get one free sale. And uh, the cool thing about this sale, especially at Target, is the new release games do count. And that is pretty much a good thing because these games here, I did wait it out and I didn't get them on day one and I'm very happy for that. I could not find a third game, so I did get this other game in this on this uh, pile right here. So let's just get started with them. So before we get started today's video, guys, let me know in the comment section below, did you enjoy the Target buy two, get one free? Let's talk about game number one. This is the game I could not pick a third game for, and this was Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Now, this is the next level edition. I don't know which edition this is, but it's called the next level edition. Maybe it's a launch edition. So this game is pretty much Borderlands with in extreme, extreme humor, pretty much. Um, I hear a lot of reviewers saying that it's got too much humor in it. So that could be a bad or a good thing. Could be corny humor. Could be really funny humor. Could be like one-liners. We don't know. Uh, I don't know. So uh, I really like the humor aspect of video games because uh, I like humorous things to begin with because I'm a jokester myself. But today, this game finally picked it up and uh, it says shoot, loot, slash, and cast. So it's pretty much your shooting, looting game, Borderlands. And this game was $70. Yes, I paid $70 for this. But I did get the Target red card. And if you think about it, it also applies to the buy two, get one free. So all three games, well, the two games do come off the 5%. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so this game was $70, which is pretty pricey for a non-exclusive launch title. I mean, yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, it's probably going to drop to $40 sometime soon. But this was the third game I picked. Let me know in the comment section below, did you pick up Tiny Teen on the buy two, get one free? If you had it, if you're pumped up for this, it did good in reviews too. So it was either this or Vanguard. So I chose this. I mean... Vanguard is mostly an online game. I mean, it's got a little campaign, but I decided to choose this, especially for being a launch title. All right, game number two, we have Ghostwire Tokyo. And as you can see, classic Sony discs being loose in the cases. Oh, uh, yes, very, very classic Sony thing. But um, I waited for this to come back in stock. This was out of stock from the... This was in st out of stock for like 24 hours at least. This game I could not find for the buy two get one free to go with the other game and T Tiny Tina. At first I was like, do I should I even do this sale? And then I realized Ghost. I got an email from Target saying Ghostwire Tokyo is back in stock, so I did pick it up. And uh, Ghostwire Tokyo is only 60, so that game was the free game because the other game about the name is 70 as well. So this was 60. Uh, it looks really good seriously this actually looks like a game i'm really gonna enjoy it looks like i would say infamous dishonored and evil within I, at first i thought it was going to be a strict like evil within game then i realized it's by tango gameworks which made evil within one and two but um i definitely want to play this and it looks i hear it's really scary i hear it's more of a horror game than an action adventure game and uh yeah let me know in the comment section below if you picked up this one on the sale or uh didn't get it or what other games you got because this game seems to go out quick and this goes to our Tokyo and last but certainly not least and I'm very happy to say that I got this game finally and I'm actually not confused why I bought this game this is WWE 2k22 this game has had a huge huge overhaul from the 2k20 game which we don't even know what that is we're gonna pretend that's somewhere on a different planet somewhere all right so this game right here is the newest wrestling game it was a launch title i skipped it these games all came out in the last couple weeks to a month ago so they're very new games uh, maybe a maybe a week or two old that's it but this game right here was 70 dollars, which is crazy but i want i love wrestling i love wwe wrestling even though the show is not at its highest point right now i do enjoy wrestling i do enjoy brock lesnar randy orton and triple h and stuff like that even though triple h retired which is which is sad obviously because triple h undertaker and uh, Stone Cold, they're all gone. I mean, all the OGs are gone. So it's 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 sad to see. But this game, it says it hits different. WWE 2K22 came out, I think, last week or the week before. And it's doing really good. Seriously, I hear it's got limited to no glitches. And that's pretty good coming from a wrestling standpoint. It's like Assassin's Creed games on day one usually. But the wrestling games tend to never get fixed. Even though there's patches, they never get fixed. This one has a solid, I think, 75 or 80 on Metacritic. You'll see the Metacritic scores of all three games I got. And uh, yes, this one right here, I definitely recommend getting if you can get this on the buy two game with free. No GameStop does not have this one. 
And I know Ghostwire and Tiny Tina are not counting. We'll talk about that in the next video about the buy two get one free at GameStop versus Amazon and Target. Three games today, pretty much wrestling, Ghostwire Tokyo, and Tiny Tina's Wonderland. These three games, I think, came out to around 130 bucks, something like that. The 5% helped. And three brand new games, let's see, 740, this would have been around 200 bucks. So you're saving the 60 for Ghostwire. Did pay full price for these minus the 5%. It was definitely worth it. I just hope that I can get into Tiny Tina. I didn't want to get something like random like from PS4. So I just got all PS5 games. If you want to see a PS5 collection, by the way, I will have that in the description below and it'll be on the end card. Also, I have a Switch collection video I just uploaded. Check that out as well. Also, stay tuned. I will have a PS4 collection video coming out in the coming weeks. Stay tuned for more gaming news. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what games you got on the buy two, get one free. Uh, if you skip the buy two, get one free. And uh, yes, uh, any, any deals I find, I'll definitely make videos. All right, guys, stay awesome, stay positive, And most of all, stay safe and definitely, definitely check out the sale. I will definitely be posting more about the GameStop one because I did purchase stuff on that sale as well. So stay tuned for that video. Peace out, guys.